Hi everyone, Brian Tomaszewski here. In this video series, I will give you an introduction to visual analytics using Tableau software. If you want to learn how to use interactive visual interfaces such as geographic maps, timelines, and tree maps to derive insights from data, this tutorial is for you. In this software tutorial video series, I'll first give you an introduction to the idea of visual analytics, which is often summarized as the use of visual interactive interfaces that are used to derive insights from large volumes of data. After that, I'll give you an overview of the Tableau software, which is an industry leading visual analytics software. To be clear, I'm not an expert on Tableau, but I'll show you some of its key features that will hopefully inspire you to work with different forms of data to create interactive visualizations that can help you find trends and patterns in your data. If you're brand new to Tableau, I'll first go over some key Tableau concepts, as Tableau is a very specialized software with its own vocabulary of terms. Some of them are similar to software you may be familiar with like Microsoft Excel, but Tableau really is its own unique environment to work in. The remainder of the video series will then focus on a visual analytics case study tutorial where I'll show you how you can apply the concepts of visual analytics in specific tools like Tableau to create interactive visual interfaces and dashboards for investigating COVID vaccination records. Specifically, I'll use a publicly available COVID vaccination data set for this tutorial so you can gain some hands-on experience working with real-world data sets that can ideally inspire you to work with your own data sets as you begin to learn visual analytics skills. Written steps for this tutorial can be downloaded from my website. See the link below in the video description. Before getting into the technical aspects of this video series, I first wanted to briefly cover the topic of visual analytics. Visual analytics is often defined as analytical reasoning using interactive visual interfaces. Although that definition may sound very lofty, I've often thought of visual analytics as a process, the process of thinking, where the visualizations help to enable the process of that thinking. Or as my doctoral advisor, Alan McEachern used to say, visual analytics is a verb, the process. The actual visual representations, like a chart or a geographic map, are a noun, or things that enable the process of analytical thinking. Visual analytics emerged as a new paradigm roughly around the same time as the ideas of big data emerged, as we now have massive volumes of data sets and heterogeneous forms of data, such as text documents, geographic information, imagery, social media, and more that can be visually represented and interacted with to take advantage of the human visual system and reasoning to derive insight. Or more plainly put, it's kind of like saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. In the academic literature, the visual analytics process can sometimes be visually represented using diagrams like this that show the cycle of incorporating data visually representing data, interacting with data, and deriving knowledge from data and creating models. So with some of these academic foundations in mind, let's now talk about a specific software tool that can enable the visual analytics process. Tableau is one of the industry leading visual analytics software environments. As per a quote from their website, the Tableau software can transform the way that you use data. For more information on Tableau and how to download an evaluation copy of the software, see the link below in the video description. Given that visual analytics is fundamentally driven by data, working with data is one of the core functionalities of Tableau. In this regard, Tableau has a few specialized terms that are important to review before actually using the software. The following are some key concepts from Tableau that I quote from their website, which is cited in the video description below. 
data inside of Tableau are considered either dimensions or measures. Dimensions contain qualitative values, such as names, dates, or geographical data. You can use dimensions to categorize, segment, and reveal the details in your data. Measures contain numeric, quantitative values that you can measure. Measures can be aggregated. Let's next talk about blue versus green fields. Tableau represents data differently in the view depending on whether the field is discrete or shown in blue or continuous or shown in green. Continuous and discrete are mathematical terms. Continuous means forming an unbroken whole without interruption. Discrete means individually separate and distinct. Green measures and dimensions are continuous. Continuous fields are treated as an infinite range. Blue measures and dimensions are discrete. Discrete values are treated as finite. Tableau uses a workbook and sheet file structure, much like Microsoft Excel. A workbook contains sheets. A sheet can be a worksheet, a dashboard, or a story. One of the key elements of Tableau is a view. A view is a visualization or viz that you create in Tableau. A viz might be a chart, a graph, a map, a plot, or even a text table. A worksheet contains a single view along with shelves, cards, legends, and the data and analytics panes in its sidebar. Marks implement the idea of visual variables like color and size, as well as items to use for details on demand through tooltips. A dashboard is a collection of views for multiple worksheets. A story contains a sequence of worksheets or dashboards that work together to convey information. So with this background in mind, in the next part of the video series, I'll go over a hands-on tutorial using Tableau where you'll see all of these Tableau software concepts in action. I'll show you how to build three different kinds of worksheets that are combined into a dashboard for analyzing COVID vaccination data, and then I'll show you how you can create a basic story for presenting the results of your analysis. Before beginning the hands-on portion of this video series, it's important to first identify what the question is we want to ask and derive answers through analysis using visual analytics using the Tableau software. In this example, we are going to be investigating what is the COVID vaccination situation for a given day around the world. The following is an overview of what you will create after completing the tutorial. As you can see, there will be a timeline interface that can filter out individual days in terms of the number of vaccinations around the world. And then clicking on a tree map will allow you to look at a specific country in terms of its vaccination rates for a given day and over time. So with all of these background concepts in mind, let's now begin going through this hands-on tutorial. As a reminder, written steps for this tutorial can be downloaded from my website. See the link below in the video description. I'll be referring to tasks and steps in this tutorial for the hands-on portion of these videos. Hi, this is Brian Tomaszewski. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the notification icon to stay up to date on new videos from this channel. Thanks for watching.